Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a top 40 commercial for new music using three songs, an intro shell, and an outro sound effect. It's really quite simple. So let's get started. I've already pre-selected three songs. They're all around 125 beats per minute, which works great because when they're all the same beats per minute or BPM, it seems flawless when you flush them together. It'll seem as if they are the same song. And with a simple additive of effects and transition noises, you won't even notice that there's a difference. So let's get started. If you're not sure how to find the BPM of a song, go ahead and enter the song on Google and type BPM or beats per minute. You should then be able to find an aggregate site or something similar that lists the beats per minute of each song. This is common for DJs to use when making a mix, so it shouldn't be very difficult for you to find this information. All right, now I have my three songs. The three songs are The Ready Set with Young Forever, I Square with Hey Sexy Lady, and Willow Smith with 21st Century Girl. These work perfect, and you'll see why here in a second. All right, the first step is to go into each individual track and find a part of the song or chorus or segue that you'll be able to use for your mix. I typically like to find the chorus and use that because it's usually energetic, it pops, and it really stands out. Another thing is, the chorus typically uses the name of the song in it. So in this case, with I Squared, Hey Sexy Lady. You get that build with the beat, and then it goes in and says, Hey Sexy Lady. You want that in there so that when it is a commercial, your audience will be able to know, hey, that's Hey Sexy Lady. So I went ahead and I selected that. Now, after you've selected it, make sure it's highlighted, right click and hit insert into multi-track. This will put it into multi-track and we'll change over to that view shortly. Let's go on to the next song. The Ready Set with Young Forever. Now what makes this piece great is its little outro segue before it jumps back into the song. It goes drop, 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 drop. Now a good idea would be to listen to all three songs and see if you can find words that will be able to play off of each other during your transitions. Now what you're going to see here is that I was extremely lucky. The word drop is also used and played in Willow Smith's 21st Century Girl. You'll see why here in a second. Again, once your piece is selected, right click and insert into multi-track. And then move on to your third song. So here we go. Alright, how did I get so lucky? I really don't know. Let's be honest, sometimes it just falls in your lap. So Willow Smith says, drop the beat, which is the perfect intro for the outro we just had for the Ready Set song, where they're exclaiming drop repeatedly. So these two will overlap and it'll work flawlessly. It'll almost seem as if you don't need to insert an effect for this transition. So now, as the third track is selected, insert it into multi-track. Here we go. Bizow! Alright, now it's time for, yep, you guessed it, multi-track. But don't be intimidated, because if you've already watched the previous parts of this DVD, you should know exactly what to do, when, where, how, and why. So let's get to it. The three tracks are now in multi-track. It's now your responsibility to make the beats line up, add the effects, Mix down, master, and send it off to your program director so that this commercial can happen on the air. So let's get to it. No more talking. First, as mentioned, you want to line up the beats. You want to look exactly at where each wave lines up, and you want to make sure that from below, they look like they're a straight line. Each wave needs to follow the wave above it. So here we go. If you've done it correctly, it should sound good. If you screwed up and the lines aren't lined up, your ears will be able to tell you. It'll sound ridiculous and it'll cause cognitive dissonance and you won't be able to stand it. 
neither will your audience. So make sure you do it right the first time. All right, now let's make sure that the second and third songs both line up. Now, 21st Century Girl isn't necessarily 125 beats per minute, but if you do things right, you should be able to make it happen, and even though it's around 128 beats per minute, your audience won't notice. Also, it helps that the words played off of one another, so let's knock it out. All right, so I haven't rehearsed, so this is me doing it live. As you can tell, this is a very difficult spot. You don't want to leave a blank or low-sounding noise before the next big boom in. So even though she says drop the beat, there's a little, you know, stagnant part of the song. You want to make that blend in with the second track. So let's fix it, and we should be good. Well, we fixed that problem. Now that they're all lined up, we can go on to sound effects and make these transitions smooth as a baby's. Well, you get the idea. Alright, now that all three songs are lined up, it's only right that you add some effects or transition noises. Wipes tend to work best. Also, you can try rollovers. If you're looking for sound effects, your instructor has these on hand. Feel free to ask. Just as the songs lining up were important, it's also important that your sound effects line up. Or they work in spots where they don't stand out, but they also don't seem invisible to the oral perspective. So, here we go. The turntable scratching I've inserted is also 125 beats per minute. So if lined up correctly with the beat, you shouldn't be able to tell any difference and it'll work great. This effect also works. Now make sure the audio level of the effect doesn't drown out the music, 
but it also isn't too low where you won't notice it after mix down. Perfect. Now we insert the shell. You can get the shell from your instructor also. It's a simple shell that I created a few years ago. So now that the shell is in place, you hit Control A. You want the shell to be on the top track. I don't know why, but it just it's it's OCD for me. I always put it in the top track. So you hit Control A. This will highlight everything. Then you hold control and you click the shell. That way that doesn't move, but you can move everything else. Move them around and line them up with the shell. Cut and edit the pieces so your final product is around 30 seconds. Uh, 25 seconds if you'd like to leave a 5 second tag where you can talk and insert information, such as your station's call letters or an upcoming event slash contest. Music sounds like this. Now, to edit the audio levels, simply click on the top of that track. It'll be white and your arrow will change. Then you can click and make points and from there you can drag those points into a simple fade out. So now once they're all in place, you need an outro effect. A simple boom or wipe always works well to end your track. Now make sure your sound effect for your outro is in the right place and then you should be satisfied. The next step is to go and mix it down so that it can go to mastering. After being mastered, hey, it's ready for radio play. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a top 40 radio commercial. Music. New music sounds like this.